It's set on activity. Are we doing activities? Well, we're going to start trying. Um, what are we doing today? We're going to see if we can tow a 26 foot stock car trailer, car trailer with the Touareg with an engine light. Just going to film you doing some work for us. Come on, man. I do all the work. Trailer work? No. <laughs> well, I, hey, I rebuilt my old one. Come on. Yeah, you didn't true. do any of that. Yeah, I did. What'd you do? I cut a bunch of stuff out, floor and stuff. I don't know. Helped weld Connor a bunch. Helped with the fenders. Connor did it. I designed that fender that came off that we didn't ever need to come off. Connor did it. I took it off a couple times. She's a heavy girl. A lot of creaking. A lot of creaking and cracking. <laughs> Is it going to fall through this trailer? Maybe. What do we buy? We'll find out. Can you get out? Come on, I want to see you struggle. Just look at me in life. <laughs> Just look at me in life. Yeah, not so bad. Yeah. All right, let's, let's strap her down. All right, well, we almost ready. Ready, ready, ready. Can the Tory do it? I don't know. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Worst case scenario, the Torag. Worst case scenario. What about the Torag? Doesn't handle it. Yeah, pretty much. Can we put this up with our feet? I don't know. It's pretty heavy. Oh. No. All right, so we're gonna give this a shot anyway. So Toreg VR6, 3.6 liter. Trying to tow this 26 foot V-neck trailer with a Mark 6 GTI in it. We set this up. It was already on a trailer previously, so the brackets were already on the trailer when Dave got it. And then we picked up this weight distribution hitch to try to level it out. So we have it set up. It's fairly good now. Um, you don't want the front difference to be more than a half inch higher than what it is without the trailer hooked up. And we're right about at that level. So it's fairly level now. We don't have a whole lot of stuff in the in the V of the trailer yet, but we do have a heavier car than what we would usually have in this trailer. So. We're just taking it for a test drive. We still have quite a few links that we can move up on the hitch, so we think we're going to be okay. But in the meantime, we're going to just take it for a cruise up around the neighborhood and see if the old Torag can do it. So the trailer's back there. How's it feel, Clayton? It's pretty good. It's not bad. It struggles on hills, um, but... I mean, was expected. It, you know, we struggled on hills a little bit anyway, but I notice it a bit more with this, but obviously it's a lot more weight, so it kind of makes sense. But uh, over bumps and stuff, feels great. Um, turning feels like it turns, so it's good. Still turns? Still turns. I don't know if it'll make it to Miramichi or not. It's probably not going to make it to Miramichi or not. But back and forth to Shuby, like 45 minutes from here, you know, it's relatively decent roads. I wouldn't have any problem with it, especially yeah. with a car that's like a thousand pounds lighter. So just so everyone knows, and maybe Clayton talked about this, I don't know what he talked about already, but. We're not over capacity for the Touareg. We're not doing anything stupid. The Touareg is good for 7,700 pounds towing capacity and a 770 pound tongue weight. We are, even with the GTI on it, um, we're still below both of those things. And so within, me, it, within means uh, within the means of the weight of the trailer. Too, and yes, not so we're not, we didn't try this just to be ghetto and try it. We're trying wow. it because it's a sort of ghetto because they're towing a 26 plus foot trailer with a yeah. Touareg. But now that's now I have run on a couple Touareg forms. Like this is the max length you'd want to tow just because of the length of the Touareg. Right. So I think people are saying like 25, 26 feet is like the absolute like end of right. what you'd want to tow. So either way, it's not swaying. It feels good. We still have the sway bar thing we might try to put on also just for a little bit extra. Uh, but for long trips, we'll just be using a truck probably to tow it. So success. Pretty pretty successful. We didn't go far, but went on the highway, went up some roads, went up some hills. Yep. Yeah. So now, time to uh, take some decals off. All right, we got the ones off the side, and now Dave's just looking after the couple in the front. And then I think we just have one other one in the back, don't we? One on... Or on oh, the there side, might be sorry. something on the back. There's I don't know. No, I don't know. One on the other side. Let's though. check. There's one over here. The previous owner took the other one off. 
So we'll take that off and something on the back. Nope. We're going to leave the, the logos of the actual trailer brand on there. But uh, we just want to make sure that we get all the previous race guys stuff off. And yeah, a couple small ones there and that other one on the side and we're done. You're going to you gotta work. I am. Yeah, I don't know. Not these ones aren't fun. This well, this one specifically. This one will probably come off in one. Oh, that is one piece. This one's all just actual vinyl deco. Mm. Million little letters. All right, well, I'm gonna try to pick the other side off without heat. We'll see how that goes. Definitely hard on the fingers. Like you can get it, but it's just not fun. Once you get it started, it's okay. Definitely not fun. All right, I'm gonna go grab the heat gun, I think, and try to do this, get this over with and done with. So it's close now anyway, just getting rid of the bit of residue that's yellow. left on it and and getting rid of some of the paint off the aluminum. And, and the yellow. And the, yeah, yeah, the, we <laughs> left we left some yellow on the other side from the rag, the dye came out of it, so. Oh. Neon. So we went to pick this trailer up and uh, it was like a four or five hour drive from us? Four hours each way. And it was kind of committed, obviously, for that kind of drive to drive all the way there with not come home with something. So I was very hesitant on getting there and it being junk. But in the end, the thing was way better than expected. Yeah. There's like, because this was set up for a racing team. Yeah, they ran pro stock and... Um... Uh, sportsmen sportsman and then and then pro stock so they have shelves they have the floor reinforcer they have the toolbox they have all this to hold the toolbox in place um the bench yeah, and of, the cabinets yeah, a couple cabinets up here for some space and the real good part is they have the whole thing wired as you can tell so we, we just put the generator up front and plug in and there's light switches and there's Couple power lights. outlets at the front and the back. Um, and there's air run all the way through it too. So there's air at the back of the trailer and the front. Yeah, probably through a compressor. I think they had their compressor down in there. So yeah, and uh, yeah, so there's like very little we need to do. This is like race ready. We'll probably maybe put doors up here. Mm and uh, a couple of little things to make it our own, but it's like... Really, e even as of right now, we could just... We could go, it up use and it and go. go. Yeah. yeah, we got a fire extinguisher with it, which was good, and um, yeah, so I'm um, super pumped. So either way, or leaving there that day, it was like going there with like hesitation that we drove all this way for junk and the guy really took care of this thing and it's uh, better than we hoped. Yep, definitely. It, it came with the brackets for the weight distribution hitch, but didn't come with the, the actual yeah, bars. so for I it, had to pick that up. Um, either, no matter if we're towing with, you know, uh, 2,500 or 3,500 or whatever, or a Torek. Yeah. Um, everybody recommends to have these things anyway, so it was kind of a no-brainer to pick those up. Yeah, the Torek did, okay. Yeah, so, what else now? We just gotta make it our own. Yeah, so decals on the side and a couple little things inside to make it a little bit uh, more friendly for us because I think the guy that had this trailer, he was only towing like not very far from the track. Yeah, like 10, 15 minutes. He said. Yeah, so he could always run home if he needed to, but us, we were usually pretty far away. So it'd be nice to have this stuff geared up with maybe a, a bench clamp and... Uh, yeah, the old vice. And yeah, just... I mean the compressor and the winch and all that stuff that's all going to come in here probably when we get to the go to the track but it's going to be a lot easier especially where clayton runs well clayton and i kind of share his car and then whenever i get to drag race again it's although we share a lot of the same tools there's definitely things that are you know we'll sh that'll be different between drag racing events and uh and going to amp definitely. for um, the lapping days and time attack and stuff like that so at least we got room to put the tents and the pit mat and all that stuff now where you well, even even, even little pit bike oh yeah and even little things you don't think about like having the straps you don't get to coil up the straps anymore you just 
It took us what, like thirty seconds to strap yeah, in your car. It was very quick, so yeah. Clayton, sit. Do your wrap up. Do my wrap up. Do your wrap up. If you have any questions or comments, ask them below. Probably not gonna have any questions about this thing other than how crazy are you guys to try to tow this thing with the Touareg? Yeah, and how, is, how long before the Touareg dies? Yeah, probably. That's the better question. <laughs> Um, we appreciate all the questions and comments that everybody leaves and um, all the subscribers so don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. And you got all that geared up? Yeah, so we got a I weight distribution wanna, hitch. I do this. Why? Because I don't know what's going to go on with this and there's that wire's in behind it. That's why. That's fine. No, I don't want this. With no sense of causing electrical problems. We get this thing wired. Mm -hmm. I'll just fix that and re-zip tie it out somewhere else. All right.